y'all. So this is a continuation from the video from last night. We got Kiki back. Kiki's currently at a 18. So Kiki's at an 18. Um, you guys know we're doing surgicals. So um, she's at an 18, so I take her back today to get a follow-up one because we're going to get our surgical done, but we, we ran into a little problem. So the problem we have is today's currently Sunday, but cement can't be shipped on Sunday. That's the bad part. But we're gonna figure it out because what we end up probably doing is just hopefully when I test her today, she's at like a, if she's at like a 22 today, then that's fine because remember I told you guys you want to do surgicals later, like 25 through like 30. So um, if she's at a 20 something, like a 22, because she's at 18 last night, and that was at like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, because I was up late um, doing that. So if she's at like a 22 today, that's perfect for me. Then we'll just do the surgical tomorrow. Um, we'll do the surgical tomorrow. We have a semen. We'll, so what we have to do is we have to sh we have to get the semen shipped on the plane. That way it gets her same day. And we'll do the surgical probably tomorrow night. Um, or what's going to worse if we test her there and she's high like a 29, we're going to just find a stud in the area. Um, but we're definitely taking her to a tri stud. But enough about Kiki. Um, I'm about to start weaning these puppies off of their mom because they're no longer. Well, they're eight weeks as of yesterday, eight weeks, which is, I mean, I, I'm tripping, y'all. My fault. I got a lot on my mind. I'm tired. I was up last night. My fault. They're three weeks now. So you guys know I start winning them at three weeks because she, like, Abigail's, like, not feeling them no more. She's barely feeding them. Like, she won't even sit down with them no more. Like, I can tell she's getting tired. You guys know when they hit a certain age, they go to growing teeth, and it's, it gets a little bit more hectic for the mom, and she makes, she don't want to feed them. You know what I'm saying? So uh, what I'm going to do... Um, we're gonna go ahead and start winning. We're gonna make them some mush. Let you guys see puppies first time on mush, so we can see how they do. But I'm gonna take them out the weapon box and I'm gonna put them in this now. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna put them in there. I'm about to take my weapon box. Put them in this now. Mush. Um, okay, so you listen, y'all. So you guys know, um, you guys know I'm keeping one. I was staying on keeping a female, um, but I haven't made the final decision. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. But this is the female right here. See how I picked up? I don't know why. Out of everybody, I know her. This is the female. No, she does not have a full tail. She have a kink tail. But yes, they can produce tails. This girl looks amazing. The thing about it is, I don't know if I want to keep her or if I want to let her go. And the reason being because you guys know Doja Cat might be pregnant and Kiki about to get bred. And I'm keeping, I got so I got so many puppies I'm about to have. So it's either I sell her outright or I do a pup back deal, which is not considered a co-own. Sorry, y'all, my voice is kind of sketchy. I was yelling yesterday. I had a family gathering. I was on the water slide and all that. But, um... If I was to sell her, either I'm selling her outright or I'm doing a pup back deal. Not a cool pup back, but that's her. She looks great, man. She, I'm talking about this dog. Listen, I'm not just trying to sell nobody a puppy. These are these puppies are dope. They're very dope. Like you can just look at them and tell. Quality speaks. I'm not even gonna say how dope they are. Quality speaks for themselves. Look at her eye head. Like just look at her eye spread, her head, the dome, everything. Quality speaks for itself. Just that female. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I still haven't decided what male I want to keep because this the male with no tail. Um, he, I still feel like he has the biggest. He still got a little titty milk on his mouth. Um, I still feel like this male has the biggest head. Personally, I feel like he's gonna have the biggest head. And you can just tell by how wide his head is. I feel like he's gonna have the biggest head. You guys know I'm a head freak. I won't. Be, I like dogs with big heads. Like. Not frequency big heads where their head is so big and their body's crazy. I don't like that. I like proportional dogs, but I, I gotta have a dog with a big head. So I got my eyes on him. On, the only bad part about me having him is he don't have a tail. But I got my eyes on him, and I got my eyes on not this male. So this male gonna be available full tail. He will be available. This male here will definitely be available. I know. 
because I got my eyes on two of them. So this is going to be available if you're interested. Get in my DMs on Instagram. That meal is available. Um, hold up now. Let me see. Damn, that's crazy, bro. He got a bigger head. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't know, man, because I had my eyes on these two, too. Um, but either or, see, <clears throat> so this is how it works out, you guys. The litter is so consistent. I don't know which one I'm going to keep still. I'm going to let them grow a little bit a little bit older before I decide my pick. But if you are interested in one, you can put your deposit in. Deposit is $500. Um, deposit is $500, and that locks you in a spot so that after I pick my pick, you will be able to pick next on which pup you want. But the, like I said, the litter is consistent. It's, it's just, they all look alike. From this point, a full tail. From this point, it just it just depends on who has the bigger head. With me, it seems like he got the bigger head. But you guys know this is the one I've been keep. I've been having my eyes on with the white stripe down the middle of his head. But it definitely seems like he got the bigger head. But he also looks bigger. I don't know, man. I, I, Y'all know me. I just have to wait to see. But I don't know. I have a sad inside. Both of them got full tails. So I definitely will have at least... um. Then I got this boy right here. He's the smallest one out of the litter. So if, you, um, so if you guys are interested, I'm definitely gonna have at least five pups available. Um, no, not, I'm tripping y'all, I'm sorry. Not five pups available, I'm gonna have four available. The guy who bought John uh, Joker, he uh, ended up wanting a Jew son, so he took his deposit and placed it on these. So, two of the males are already gone, because I'm keeping one, and he's getting one. So I will only have, um, I'm only gonna have three males available, and one in the female possibly depends on if you wanna buy her outright, or if you wanna do the pup back there, it depends. So the price gonna change on the female, the only female litter, the price gonna change depending on if you wanna do the pup back, or if you wanna buy her outright, it's up to you. Um, but I'll definitely have three males available and the one female. Um, the other two males, whichever one I decide to keep. Man, I just, I just can't. I don't know, man, because, I don't know, man, because they just, look at his head. That boy headpiece is crazy, man. His head is crazy, man. Let me see. And then this boy head crazy, too. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell. I'll I wait. If I have to wait, I'll wait. Look at that female headpiece. That's the female. Look at her stance. Y'all see that? Look at that female, man. Man, she got some nice structure. All these dogs got nice structure. Look at that. All right, so, um, like I said, man, give me a second. Oh, let me go ahead and get this off. I'm going to show y'all how to make the, the mush. So I know everybody be like, what's the mush? What's the mush? What's the mush? Uh, give me a second. Let me get that set up and I'll catch y'all in a few minutes. Give me a second. All right, y'all. So got my mush ready to make. You guys know my ingredients. Dog food, Ultra 24, kid, kid, goat milk, whatever. It don't matter. It's all the same. My dime. Y'all, you only use dime when you're weaning puppies off their mom. All it is is sweets. It's just sweets. And it's a lot of it's a lot of calories. You do not get this to your bully because the dog is full grown and you just want to give it to him because he thinks he's gonna put weight on him. Or I'm gonna give it to my puppy that's eight weeks, uh that's my puppy that's four months old. You only give this nine to puppies who are weaning off mom. That's the only time you use nine. Remember that. Don't milk. You can use water also, y'all, but I don't use water. I use the goat milk. I like the goat milk. Um, so the more the more milk you add, the softer it makes it. We'll make it pretty soft because it's their first time eating mush. Because Abigail is no light. Like, Abigail won't even sit there in the field no more. Like she won't sit still. And I'm not upset because, like I said, you know, it's getting time to her for her to start weaning them anyway at three weeks. So. Um, it's about that time. 
So, right here. Trying to get the top to mix in also. But what I'll do, add some more milk. So that's pretty soft, and I'll leave it pretty soft for that first time because it is that first time eating this. So I'm gonna make it soft. Make it pretty soft for that first time. Sprinkle some dye in it. Cool, you should be good. Let's go rock in here and see what they say. Come on, y'all, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, y'all. Come on. Perfect, perfect, perfect. See, once they get that first lick, they're going to like it. Come on. Why you got to be the eyeball? It's, it's actually right there. You don't have to do all that. See how you get on his face and go to licking it? I better figure it out. Let's go. Let's figure this thing out. He figured it out. These two figured it out, so we good. Let me get some more down, y'all. Give me a second. I don't know why y'all keep trying to suck, bro. Y'all not getting no more mommy. That's dead. See, you gotta hold them and just let them like if you don't hold them they will take their heads out you gotta let them hold they gotta hold them towards it and let them lick it so they can see it's actually good and once they realize it's good and they like it 
they'll start eating it, see? You gotta hold their head to it and let them, let them, let them, let them lick it. God, he ate a lot. So they are three weeks of age. I do got my dewormer. Um, I'm gonna deworm them uh, maybe tomorrow. This is the dewormer I use. Technically, you're supposed to do it at two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. I do not do it the way I do it, the way I wanna do it. Um, this is the dewormer I use. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Then I'll do it again um, two, uh, a week after that. Then I'll skip a week, then I'll do it again. So I'll do it at three weeks, four weeks, uh, six weeks, and right before they leave. And it is soft, it's not hard. So let me actually let me make it a little bit let me make it a little bit softer. Give me that second up. Alright, so I added a little more milk to it, made it a little bit softer. Um, as y'all can see. Try to make it a, 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 as watery as possible. Let me let me see. I think that's soft enough. We good. Much time, much time. All right, so what I'll do, y'all, is um, I'll leave it in there for right now. You know what? Let me change this. God diggity dog. I'll leave it in there for right now. I'm not even going to take it out. I'm going to just let him get used to it. Leave it in there. Um, Because as I see, as y'all can see, they'll start, they'll start, they'll get the hang of it. But if you take it out, they won't get the hang of it. But I'm going I'm to leave it in there just so they can go ahead and start getting the hang of that, of this mush. See how they licking it off each other, but they like not really, you know what I'm saying? So, we're done with them. I'll leave that in there with them. Let them figure that much out. Um, that's the end of the video, you guys. Um, again, like I told y'all, I will have three males available in that one female. Because um, I'm keeping one, and I have... Uh, that one puppy who's um, already spoken for, Joker is available. So if you want, if the, for the ones who are interested, Joker is literally a great dog. Everybody want, everybody claim Joker is so good and so this. So go ahead and buy him. He's up for grabs. Go ahead and spend money and buy him. He comes with, um, he comes with two stud credits already. He already have two lock ins. So uh, if you're interested, want to know his price? DM me on Instagram so I can tell you what his price is. And like I just said, he do come with two lock-ins already. Um, the early lock-ins is 1500 I kept the 500 you get the 1000 So you, he already got $2,000 already in the bank secured. Um, but I catch on the next video. For everybody who's been following me and watching me and growing me, I do a love and appreciate all the support, man. Y'all just keep helping me grow. Keep watching me. I'm going to keep dropping content for y'all. I'm going to keep dropping positive content. I'm going to keep dropping knowledgeable content for y'all because that's what y'all like. And that's what I like give y'all. All the comments welcome, negative, positive, bad, good, whatever. We like it all. We like the controversy over here at City Counters. We're growing as a family, man. We're growing. Um, you spend money with me, you spend bread with me, you buy a puppy, buy a stuff for you're part of the family. You're gonna always have my knowledge, my input, you're gonna have my phone number to be able to call me any time of the day and be like, hey, I need help with this, and I'm gonna help you. Hey, I need help with that because you spent bread with me. Anybody that spent bread with me, you're part of my family. So you're gonna have my personal number. 
And if you need anything, you can call me any time of day and be like, hey, I need this. Hey, I need to know that. Hey, what you think about this? Hey, because that's 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 what you deserve because you spark bread and your money's appreciated. But I love y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video. We out.